Hi guys, I'm super excited to go over today's video. We are gonna be talking about kitchen trends for 2023. What's really exciting about the kitchen is a kitchen, as we know, is the heart of the home. I feel like so often we, you know, always gravitate to the words of the kitchen, at least in my house we do. You know, you have these beautiful living rooms, dining rooms, the whole shebang, and everybody always ends up in the kitchen talking, drinking, eating, hanging out. So it's no surprise that we do spend a lot of money into our kitchens as we spend a lot of time in them. Whether we cook or not, it really doesn't seem to matter. We really love our kitchens. So these trends are what we're seeing coming down the pipe for 2023. And I'm here for it. I think they all sound fabulous. Some we've seen for a while, some are up and coming, some are, I think we're seeing it, but it hasn't really filtered into like everyday homes yet, but I'm sure in time we will. So definitely let me know in the comments below what trends you're like, oh no, never in a million years. And what trends you're like, I'm all over that. I need me some money to get it done. <laughs> All right, so the very first one is even more natural light. Of course, we love having a lot of light in a space. We all know it's great for us, but bringing in more light into a kitchen. Now, what do you mean more light? How do we bring in more natural light? Something that we're really seeing and that's been really popular with kitchen designs is actually keeping a lot of windows behind the counter space. Traditionally, we've had cabinetry you know, all along one wall and maybe one window over the sink, we're actually seeing where some, you know, remodels are having windows across a whole wall of the kitchen, much like you might have in, you know, a dining room or living room and really exploding natural light into the space. So with the addition of the huge windows, which is obviously more of an architectural detail, we're also seeing a lighter color palette. And we're also seeing a lot of reflective matte materials, which really do help lighten it up the space as well. So it's been really interesting to see how the use of materials using light and a lot more natural light in our kitchens is being really played up. The next trend that we're seeing in the kitchen is round islands. I do believe I talked about this a while back in a curved video, but we're seeing these curved island details. Now we've been talking about this for a little while, but it is becoming more and more popular and we're seeing it more and more often. I'm even seeing it in commercials now. And as you remember from my trends video, if you haven't watched it, go watch it after this one. We will see a lot of times trends start online or in magazines or on TV. You see it a lot in like media and advertising before it really starts to filter down into like the everyday home. Cause obviously, you know, cost, money, all those things. But we are gonna see that trend build, continue and get more and more popular. What I love about the curved islands in the kitchens is it's just, it's so much softer. Like if we're all gathering in the kitchen, then why do we need a harsh corner that like, I know I've walked into mine a million times. So I think having the soft corners too, is just a little bit more, I don't know, welcoming. Like it has a much more welcoming presence to it. I really am loving these kitchens. I saw this recent one where they did it all in marble, which marble is super hot as well. We'll get to it. And they curved it and it, it was kind of like, not a waterfall because you could see the seam, but just that like it was really stunning. And I don't think it was real marble or maybe it was. I don't even know how they did it, to be honest. I actually have to look into that, but it was beautiful. And I was just like, wow, that it was a statement piece. It became like this jewel within the center of the kitchen. It was absolutely stunning. So something that I thought was really interesting on the trends list was these interesting kitchen hoods. Now, what I think is fun is that whether you're into minimalism or maximalism or anywhere in between any style, there is a kitchen hood that will fit your aesthetic. And we're seeing a lot more custom built in ones. So the actual hood itself is kind of like within a millwork housing. So you don't necessarily, you know, see all the kind of metal and inner workings of it. But I am really fascinated with all the different versions of the kitchen hood that we're seeing. And it's really becoming a focal point within the kitchen. So I know I've mentioned this many times before, but it continues to be a trend that we're seeing in all facets, including the kitchen. And that is a more sustainable and organic material choice. So we're definitely seeing a big push to using stuff like 
uh, reclaimed items. We're also seeing things like cork and bamboos used a lot more. We're also seeing really beautiful materials come back that are very sustainable like terrazzo, which I'll get into more later. But basically that very organic natural material choice and being very conscious of what materials we're bringing into our kitchen is having a huge influence in our kitchen trends as well. One of the trends that I'm really loving, something that I've done in corporate for years, but has just kind of starting to happen in kitchens in the last couple of years. I actually just recently did a kitchen remodel where we did this, and that is using two different tones of materials. So the kitchen that I remodeled recently for a client, we actually did a wood tone and then a soft painted. I'm going to say like, it's not a white, it's not a gray. It's kind of like a, it's a very soft white color. Absolutely beautiful, really, really modern, very clean aesthetic that we used in their space. But this is really gaining a lot of popularity. It has been for a while and you're going to continue to see this you know, mix of materials and mix of colors. So not just having a singular tone in your kitchen. Something that has been really fun that I've been seeing way more of, I feel like I see it a lot on Instagram or TikTok, these really interesting kitchens that have these hidden pantries. I saw this one that was absolutely stunning with this like bifold door. It kind of looked like a paneled wall and then the door was hidden and it like folded in and then like it like tucked into the wall. I was just like, I need a space that I can do this detail because it was just stunningly gorgeous and it was completely hidden. The whole pantry just looked like, I mean, it just looked like a regular wall. And that is something that is a big trend for kitchens is these hidden pantries. So whether it's space saving to like make it not look like it's a pantry and have that kind of multifunctional or just really interesting to look at, to be honest, that is something that we're seeing more and more popular in the kitchen trends. Something that's interesting, and I, I feel like this one might be like a hot take. I don't know if people will like this or not, and that's these oversized swooping handles. Now, one of the things with kitchens is our hardware can really change the look of a kitchen. It can make a huge difference from whether it feels like farmhouse to modern. Like honestly, sometimes just the hardware, kind of like our jewelry, can really completely change the statement. That being said, I'm seeing this oversized handle and I'm like, I don't know, maybe it feels a little industrial to me, maybe, but industrial has a moment too, right? So this is a trend that we're seeing. I'd be really curious to see what you guys think of this one. If you like it, yay, nay. But these very large, oversized, swooping hardware that almost become more of like a part of the cabinetry itself just functions as a handle, I guess. It's almost, yeah, like another layer to it. It's interesting, I don't know. I don't know if I love it yet, but I thought it was interesting and I wanted to share it. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on that one. Something else, and this is so funny because I feel like in North America, this has not been a trend, but I have family in Sweden and this is just normal. <laughs> so I'm not surprised by it. And if I had the space, I would do it because honestly, it is so smart and that is extra large fridges. Honestly, okay, so in Sweden, all of my family that lives in Sweden has two fridges. So they have a one that, I mean, they're not both fridges, sorry. One's a freezer and one's a fridge, and they are side by side. And I feel like you probably know what I'm talking about because we're seeing it a lot more now, but it wasn't really a big thing in North America until recently, like only in the last few years, this has become a thing. This is really commonplace, for, well, in Sweden for sure, because I have family there, with the double fridges. It is so functional. Like to have one as a freezer and one as a fridge, like it is just great. There's so much room to store things in. I love it. I, I'm i loving that this is a trend because now we're designing kitchens and we're factoring in the space needed for two fridges. Now, there are just like regular fridges, when you do the two side by side, there's lots of different sizes that you can do. It looks fantastic. It looks really good. It has that almost like chef's kitchen look to it, but it's just game changer. If you love to cook and you love to prep and like meal prep, all that stuff, it is a game changer. Like functionality wise, I love it. it should, I think it should be like standard practice. <laughs> like it's just, it's amazing. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps the algorithm, all that stuff. So thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Okay, next one. 
Porcelain countertops, I know. We've always seen, or not always seen, but marble and granite and quartz and Corian has been really, really the staple of kitchen countertops. Obviously for mica as well. For mica, or I should say laminate, sorry. For mica is a brand, like Kleenex. <laughs> uh, laminate countertops, you know, all of those are things that we're pretty used to seeing. Porcelain countertops are really interesting and it makes a lot of sense because it's really hard wearing, it's very durable, and it really does have a really nice, beautiful look to it. It's a non-porous scratch and stain resistant, which if you've ever had a marble countertop, it's not any of those things. <laughs> but I mean, the solid surface like Corian has been really big into fashion, so porcelain is just something else that's now available for us to use. So another trend that we're seeing in kitchen design, which I feel like is not a surprise at all because we have been seeing this for a while, but I think it's just continuing to build. And this one is layers of black. So we've been seeing this darker, bolder kitchen for a while now, but I think what we're seeing is actually these layering of blacks and in different uh, tones. So we're seeing a lot more matte blacks used in the kitchen. So what's really interesting with the layering of black is we're seeing not only the cabinetry done in black, but the hardware, the backsplash, the countertops, even, you know, the sink in black and then adding in, you know, that bronze hardware details just for like a little bit of touch in there to add that extra little bit of glam to the space. So we're really seeing this, not just black, but like all black, but it has such an interesting look to it. It's such a statement if you're willing to commit and go black on black. Another item that I want to talk about, and actually ugh, I saw this, I can't remember what I was watching and I saw it and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to commit this to memory because I want to do this. And that is these architectural pendants. But I'm also finding the way that they're being installed is different than we've been seeing it previously. So typically we see our cabinetry, like our island with like three or two pendants above it. I've been seeing this amazing kitchen design trend where you have these extremely well-designed crafted pendants, but then hung on like one side, you know, like offset juxtaposition with the counter. I am in love with this look. It just completely transforms the way we've been doing our lighting in the kitchen and hung at different heights and just like a complete... Um, story in itself like as much as it adds some lighting it adds such an interesting visual interest like your eyes naturally drawn to it it just I am in love with this look it is so beautiful so yes beautiful lights are a must to do this I wouldn't be doing like your traditional lighting with this not because you couldn't just because I don't think it would read the same way like it needs to be a really unique light piece because it becomes a piece of artwork in the kitchen essentially from the way that you're installing it and the way that it's you know reading in the space so there's a lot to that thought process but man I love it I think there's a lot of people that might be having some electrical moved around and some holes to patch in their ceiling <laughs> because I think this one is really going to take off personally because I think it just looks very unique and very different and there's no way that people aren't going to be commenting on it. This trend I am not as sure about maybe because it has a bit of a 70s vibe to it. I feel like that's that's what I'm thinking of 70s 80s retro vibe and that's this mirrored backsplash but it's having this like warmer tone to it so it looks like a vintage piece right like that copper undertone mirrored backsplash and I I feel like we saw this a lot back in the day. I mean, when you look at like vintage stuff. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm loving it, but it's making a comeback is this mirrored backsplash. And I've seen it on like quite a few, I think it was like A&D. Sometimes I watch the A&D on YouTube and I've definitely seen more stuff like that. So interesting coming back into fashion, I guess. I'm not sure how I feel about that one, but you guys can let me know your thoughts. So this look has been everywhere. And I am, I'm not going to lie. I did not like it when I first saw it. I was watching A&D and they were showing Emma Chamberlain's house and she had it. And I've seen it a lot. And she had done this colored marble in like a peach tone. And I was like, man, that's not going to age well. And I still don't think it's going to age well. I'm not going to lie. I just, 
There's no part of me that looks at it and thinks that's going to be great in 10 years from now or 15 years or whatever. Like, I know it's not going to age well. I'm saying that out of the park. But it has grown on me and I am really enjoying these colored marbles. I think they're a moment. I do think though for the cost and the commitment that you have to put into this, I mean, you really got to love it because it will look dated sooner than later. I don't think it's going to have a long shelf life because I don't know, colors just come in and out of fashion. So I feel like when you commit to something like a a peachy colored or a green color in a marble, you're probably going to turn around in like five years and be like, what was I thinking? Because that's just kind of what we do in design. So I don't know. That's just my personal side of it. But it's making a huge impact, even just really textured marbles. So like there's a lot of them where they're still in the gray tones or more of a neutral palette, but really highly texturized a lot of visual interest. We haven't been seeing that for a while. It's been very soft and muted for a long time. So I am liking the bold statement of the marbles that we're choosing right now. So I think that trend is gonna continue. I think the colored marble is like a little scary, but I definitely think that textured marble, very um, interesting visual appeal will probably be a little bit more of like the mainstream trend just because colored marble can be scary because it's expensive. <laughs> and last but not least, but I, and I've already touched on it, and that is terrazzo. We are seeing so much terrazzo, whether it's in countertops and flooring and backsplash and bathrooms and everywhere I turn, we are seeing terrazzo. And I'm loving the way we're doing it. We're doing a lot of colored terrazzo. We're doing a lot of different um, like bigger pieces like because terrazzo has the little um, pieces in it, right? So it can be very fine. It can be very uh, bold. It can be a lot of different visual things. And I'm loving it. I'm loving the resurgence of the terrazzo. It's so funny because, and I don't know if this is just like an Ontario thing or a Canada thing, but like every single school had terrazzo floors. And I actually, because I've worked with schools, had to replace his terrazzo step and there was like one guy that specialized in our area in terrazzo and like matching the color and like doing it because we had green terrazzo gray terrazzo pink terrazzo we had every color terrazzo that you could imagine and what's great about terrazzo especially on floors is it lasts for a very long time like these floors are from schools that were built you know in the 50s and 60s and they still look good there's a little bit of maintenance that you have to do but not a lot and it's interesting because it's a very sustainable material and we're seeing this huge comeback for terrazzo that really hasn't been popular for a very long time. And I am enjoying it. I am loving it. And I feel like that gentleman that I worked with is probably got a lot of work on his plate now. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this kitchen trends video, don't forget to jump over and check out my color trends video that I did and my design trends for 2023, just overall that I did a couple weeks back. All right, guys, until next time. Bye.